with me here in the commentary box, Patrick Wirtz, who, who obviously has been uh, for welcoming me in the commentating box. Um, firstly, um, Will Townsend in front of us, um, Chris Yan with uh, qualification for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. So, you stay here uh, on the match, or? Well, obviously, these two players know each other really well. Chris is maybe a little bit more complete. Not so many weeks on that the really strong weapons that Kane has when, when he unleashes his force in situations in which he can use his forehand to his advantage. Absolutely, and you, looking at the scoreboard, and I agree with what you say about his complete... To see anything, how to read off their faces, both of them are to see if, if Chris can keep the intensity on the tournament. Icky with Kane, who's always looking to pivot, um, that is sort of a... And he's also the, the he needs time to position then for the next ball. So so that spin and trajectory actually gives come out in favor. Of course, Jen sort of has the name, but but I think there were quite a few players, and I think the the tournament has proven that. And so yeah, I feel drained. Absolutely, like she she hates to lose. So it was probably the main driver of of then loosening up and and just finishing off against Hemming. Any time he got in, loaded with spin. Oh, that. On Friday, I thought he looked uh, he looked sharp, you know, looked fit. Just a bit, um, bit off. It's probably um, Xavier. Interesting to see if Kane can get into this match. Interesting. Curious to know if the if the men did the the calculations and if if they know what they're playing for, and then playing towards the back end more. Of his opponent. And, and deceiving, it's like it's so hard to read Chris's for and it's, it's you now it I think he's trying to do a little bit too much. Brings that relaxed uh, relaxed style into play, but uh, I have to wow. There we have it. This young is the better. Very decisive side back, side top to middle area. Getting quite difficult. Top spin and being steady there. Out. This is wide forehand. Important one here for some control. Some control there for and sort of got back on track to to win that one eleven seven. A bit of lack of belief from Kane in in, in this match. And he just gave up a little bit and, and, and just goes about his business and and, and, and tried to take that uh, take that elusive spot. Push mm. rather than receiving with the with the foreign side. It's ten seven up now in the second set. Um, still showing that he's got all the fight. Uh, even when it looks Nicholas Lohmann, Finn Liu throughout this tournament, two young guys on, on, on 
uh, a lot of wins in the second part of this game here and what's your thoughts on, on, on their chances for the future? Yeah, I mean, a couple of years overseas a lot, they're always together. I think that the squad will be built around these two players in the future. Kane is now pivoting very early after the serve. I'm interested to see if he's going to play wide to at some stage. Oh, here we go. His face. Kane tightens up the scoreboard. Close this game out, I feel, in this set, uh, Patrick. Looking for an opportunity to 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 to, to throughout this weekend. So with his legs quite far away from the ball, I think he is tall. Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to say how impressed after his first two matches, going down three four three four, and and book a place. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, headstrong, very if there's if the players. You know, if, if he loses two there. Of the Australian men's team, he was on those backcourts fighting against it. Two points to go for Christian. In one of the spots, he won two two matches in the in that in that qualify qualify for that team. 100%. And is that the one? If, if the match was closer, Chris would find himself in trouble with some of those mistakes. And there we have it, Patrick.